Hey everyone, today we're here with the TIE Crawler, or Sentry Tank. This is a uh, Star Wars Legends, it kind of inspired, I guess, originated in Legends uh, vehicle. Very unique concept, obviously a TIE on, on basically tank treads, which um, is about as much as I know about the actual vehicle. But it's interesting looking, I thought it'd be a nice change of pace. Uh, we don't do like treaded vehicles very often, um, so I thought it'd be something interesting to do. you got this like bit on the back here as well which is cool. Um, a lot of detail on these treads. I did try and um, do them as accurately as possible to the references. Um, I did do a previous version of this, but I don't think it ever got a tutorial, unlike the old version of the uh, Thai Bizarro. I think that's the one here. It's like the Thai Experimental M1, I think is the other name for it. Um, and then the other ones here, I did a previous version of this again. That didn't get a tutorial, but... Um, yeah, the legend stuff is interesting. It's unique, nice. Again, change of pace from what we normally do. So yeah, we'll start off, um, and we'll just do it in a layer system. I think uh, same as what we usually do. Start at the bottom here, and then move upwards. So let's get into the uh, first layer. All right, starting off layer number one, taking the chiseled, polished black stone. Um, don't use that very often, so that's a new one. Polished black stone slab, uh, stone stairs, iron trap door, dark oak fence gate, and the dark oak sign as well. Plus a temporary block using sponge just here. You can start, I guess, in the middle. Um, green line is the front of the build, red line is the back, just for reference. Um, basically start with a iron trap door top half. I'm going to put it right in the middle there just for, I don't know, um, some reason. And then a dark oak fence gate one and two, and that's facing towards the front of the build. Then just flip those and add a dark oak sign there and one there as well. All right. Get the temporary block, do one there and one on this side. And then you're going to separate one like that. Apologies if you heard a, uh, a meow in the background there, that was my cat. Um, so yeah, separate by one on each side and then again separate by one. So you should have the three there in the middle, including that middle bit here and then one separated by each side. Okay, take the uh, chiseled polished black stone and you're gonna go out again by one and just put that here and on that side as well, there we go. Towards the front of the build, so that way, same side as these uh, dark oak bits, just do one and one again. And then a polished black stone slab top half. So these are the starts of the um, treads for the tri uh, tie crawler. Get these stone stairs, and there's going to be one just there, upside down, and another one. One there, and another one, just like that. And that's just on the inside, there's nothing on the um, outside for this bit. Okay, we're going to add another uh, seven stairs in total, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then with the polished black stone, chiseled. I can't say the word chiseled very well. I always stutter on that one. You'll notice whenever I do uh, chiseled stone bricks, I, I stu uh, stutter on that as well, which is um, just very annoying. I can't speak very well. <laughs> okay, yeah, so just take it up to the um, last stair here. Remember, it's seven past the temporary blocks, and then seven of the polished black stone blocks. And then another top half slab on either side. And that's going to be it for layer number one. Let's move on to layer number two. All right, next layer up, I've started with the stone block, polished andesite stairs and stone stairs, stone slab, iron trap door, light gray concrete, stone button, andesite, andesite wall, and then the temporary block again. Start right over here in the middle where we did the iron trap door on the previous layer and just add a stone. Polished andesite stairs, one, two, three, Four. This uh, Thai cockpit design is very similar to the ones we've done in the past. Probably um, pretty much identical to the one we did in the uh, most recent 2 to 1 Thai fighter. So, yeah. Iron trap door, one, two, three, and four. You should get that now. You can do the temporal locks again if you want. Um, you can kind of work it out without them though. You just do two on top of the ones we did before. And then with the polished andesite stairs, there's going to be one, two, three facing that way. One, two, three. 
put a stone block on the front here, there as well. We also need a polished andesite block now, and that's going to be one there. Two upside down stone stairs. Uh, polished andesite, one, two. An upside down polished stair, and then a stone block here. So we'll just do the uh, same on this side, so one, one, two. Two full blocks, the upside down polished stair, and then the stone block here as well. Okay. Right, take a iron bars. That's one there, and one on this side. One there, one on this side. And the site full block, you're going to put just here, next to the stone. On both sides like that, and then that's the only time you need it this layer, so you can put that away. Get the andesite wall out. And that's just going to go in that gap there, and there as well. This all just adds together to make detail to the... Um, I guess, tread unit on each uh, side of the uh, tie crawler. Um, fairly plain in the reference material, so I just added, you know, like little indents and notches everywhere to um, just give it a bit more life. Get the light grey concrete. Or in fact, start with the polished underside, just put that there, and then two light grey concrete with stone buttons on the outside of those two. And we'll just do that on this side so I don't forget. There we go. Then a stone block. Three light grey concrete, and then two more stone. Just like that. Get the polished black stone slab back, and you also need the polished black stone full block. Put the full block there, connecting to the iron bars. And then the slab next to it, there and there. Like that. And again over here, one, two. And uh, I think that pretty much does it, so yeah, I'm just double checking I've got everything, but yeah, it looks fine to me. Alright, let's move on up to the next layer, which is number three. Okay, so for this one, you may as well just keep the same set of materials, and we'll just grab any others that we need as we go. Start with a polished andesite stair right here in the middle, just there like that. Followed by stone stairs on these corners, one, two, three, and four. And then with the polished stairs upside down, one and two, three and four like that. Get these stone stairs again, another upside down one here and there, and then a stone full block just in the middle, like that. Okay, we need a stone brick slab, and I think we just need one of these this layer, so we can use it and then get rid of it for now. And that goes just there, and that's the top half one. Okay, on the front half here, take the dark oak fence gate one, flip it like that. Put that back up there for now. Stone brick wall in between those two stairs there and there. And then a polished on the site full block one, two. Stone slab top half one, one there. So you can see we're making the shape of that kind of tie cockpit now, which is which is good. Um, get the black stained glass just on top of this iron trap door here. And you also want to add the black stained glass pane just there. So that's just on the front. One more polished black stone material, which is the stairs upside down here, upside down there as well. All right. Um, so those four in a group, we'll put these ones here as well. Those two can go there, and then these can all move over to this side. Right, uh, iron trap door. Grab that one next to the stone slab, and again. And we're also going to put them on the back here next to the stone brick slab. There's going to be one, uh, two, three, so that's three in total, four, five, six, seven should take you to the same level as the slabs from the previous layer. Okay, polished on site stairs, you're going to do it upside down just on top of the temporary block that we did there and on this one. We need the smooth stone block now. There we go, and there's going to be one, two and three. 
and one, two, three. And we can also get rid of the temporary blocks because we don't need them anymore. Uh, so there we go. Right, uh, we need the lever. One there, one there, and one here, and one here as well. Stone block there, polish block, and then light grey concrete, one, two. Stone here, light grey concrete, stone, polished. And we'll just do the same on the other side, just copying over basically, um, obviously the mirror pattern like that. Do another polished andesite there. We want to take the polished blackstone button and that goes just here. And we'll do it on this side before we forget. There we go. Stone stairs upside down, six of these, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Takes you up to where the andesite, uh, polished andesite full block is. Like that. Okay, three more polished blocks. Three again. And then iron bar on the left and right of that. Left, right, or oh, all the way around, I guess. And then stone brick wall just in the middle. One and two. Take the andesite wall, which is down here. We are gonna add one um, just there in that gap. There as well, just add that stone as well. Another andesite wall goes on top of that iron bar. And then on this side, same thing again, just like that. Smooth stone here, smooth stone here, there, and there. Take the iron bars, one, two, three, and four. And then a chiseled polished black stone, one, two, three, and four. Okay, and um, yeah, that does it for that layer, I think. So, oh, one more thing, just a stone block in that gap there. But yeah, that is it. So let's move on up. No, it's not actually, there is one more, one more thing on the inside of the uh, tread unit. There's a polished black stone button there and one there as well on the light gray concrete. Almost forgot about that. Yeah, on, on to the next one. All right, for this one, start off with the uh, black stained glass here at the front on top of the polished black stone stairs. One and, uh, oh, come on, uh, two, there we go. And then the uh, gray stained glass as well. Oh, sorry, actually, no, it's gray stained glass pane here. Um, I'm gonna put one here and then one on the outside as well, followed by uh, black stained glass panes, one and two. Then you can round off this uh, canopy piece uh, by jumping up to the next layer briefly. It just means we have to use some of these materials again. So just basically doing the same as what's down here. Um, so stairs on either side, black stained glass in the middle, and then the black stained glass pane as well. And then you can just get rid of the black stained glasses and I think the stairs as well. Um, so it just clears up the inventory a little bit. Oh, and the gray stained glass pane. And the site wall on the left and right of the black stained glass from the previous layer. And then with the polished andesite, that's one, two, one, two. Stone blocks, two, two again. And one more polished just goes there and there. Take the stone buttons, that's going to go on the front and back of that polished there and on that one as well. While we're at it, also add another stone button just on the front of each of these from the previous layer, which I did actually forget. So, there you go. Right, cyan terracotta, part of the back wall of the inside of the tie. So that's five there. Um, iron bars, one, two. And then a uh, light grey wall banner. Just there. So that's part of the seat. Lever, one, two, so it's just internal controls and stuff. And that's fine. Stone on the left and right, and then polished in the middle. Then a stone brick wall, 
um, goes there and on that one as well. Okay, polished andesite, you want to do another uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stone, uh, actually, no, sorry, stone brick wall. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then iron bars there and there. And a smooth stone slab just goes on that one. Okay. Right, take a... I'm trying to remember what block this is. Uh, blast furnace, there we go. So blast furnace goes on top of the iron trap door. It just faces outwards like that. So you've got the uh, grey on the top half, silver on the bottom half. And again, like so. You want the birch fence gate this time. And that goes on the uh, inside and outside there. And then just flips inwards. Pretty simple stuff. There's a stone block on top of the polished andesite stair on both sides, and then another stone brick wall there and on that one. One and two. Apologies, by the way, if you can hear my keyboard a bit more than usual. I um, I think it's reaching the end of its lifespan. Some of the mechanical keys are getting a bit loud, so I'm looking at getting a, uh, a newer, quieter one with, I don't know, sound dampening or something. You shouldn't be able to hear it as much. Um, but I'm not sure when I'll get that. Um, that's a stone block there, by the way, on both sides, obviously. Um, so there we go. And then smooth stone, one, two. Stone block there. And then take the polished uh, andesite. And that's going to be one there, and then two and three. So one, two, and three. And the site wall on top of the ones we did before. And then an iron bar on top of the one we did before as well. Like that. Another smooth stone goes there. And again. And then just do another chiseled polished black stone on top of the one from before. Like that. Stone brick wall there and there. And then we need the chiseled stone bricks. One in that gap, one in that gap. Don't forget this stone block here as well. And then skeleton skull, just one of these on either side, goes on top of the, um, or sorry, on the side of the chiseled stone bricks. And we'll just copy all this over. There we go. Right, st stone block, and then two stone blocks here. Um, andesite block, you want to put one there, stone, andesite, and then two polished on top of the ones we did before. Same thing again on this side, one, two, it's doing that weird visual glitch, there we go. Um, andesite, stone, andesite, two stone. Light grey concrete here, two stone, and then two light grey concrete. We need the dark oak trap door. And that's going to go on this light grey concrete. Flip it down. That one, flip it down. And then two stone buttons in the middle. So again, we'll do the same on this side. Uh, light grey concrete, start. Or you need the stone first, then the light grey concrete. Two stone, two concrete. On these two stone blocks, buttons, and then the dark oak trap doors on either side. Okay. Right. Uh, last thing on the back here. Just another andesite wall, another iron bar. Like that. And then smooth stone in this gap. And another one of these. And then the stone button again. All right. And uh, that's going to be it for that layer, I think. Um, I'm just double checking the book. Yeah, looks fine to me. So let's move on to the next one. All right, for this one, start off with the stone brick walls on top of the previous ones. Um, and then we need the stone stairs upside down. One, two, three, 
four. Uh, iron trap door in the middle. Also put another iron trap door on top of the um, black stained glass. So iron trap door goes there, stone block here, and then stone stairs on the left and right. Add another stone brick slab. And then we need the polished black stone buttons. One there, skip one, one there, skip one, one there. So that's the uh, back section done here. Coming back to the cockpit. Get the polished andesite, get the stairs as well. Stairs facing inwards on either side and then a polished in the middle. Like that. There's a stone slab, you want to put that just there. And there as well. Get the levers. We're going to put one there and there, have them facing inwards on both sides, and then go underneath and do another one there and flip that one as well. So it should look like this. Uh, okay, so next up is the iron trap door once more. Um, grab that. Goes here on top of the blast furnace. A polished andesite stair next to it. And then three smooth stone blocks behind the stair. And then a lever there, flip it down, and again, flip it down. Alright. Three polished, and then just do the same as what we did down here. So one bars on each side. Three polished, one bars on each side. Stone block, andesite wall, andesite wall, iron bar, smooth stone here, chiseled uh, black stone, and then another button. So it's just the exact same thing here on the front as previous layer. Like that. Okay, uh, polished just there, and then two light grey concrete. One stone block, one light grey, one stone block, two polished. And on the back here, same thing again with the um, being the same as last layer basically. So one, two, one, one there, one there. Again, one, that one, this is the same, that's the same. That's the same, and then these two are the same. Stone, light grey, one stone, two light grey, and then one polished. Take the polished black stone buttons, and that's just going to mirror up like that. And again. Then this is stone stairs, so uh, just grab these, and then mirror the ones from down below. So six of those. Again, one, two. Three, four, five, six. And then just one more button there and on this side. So yeah, that should be it for that layer. Let's move on up to the next one. Right, start this one off. Um, get the iron trap doors. They're just going to go on top of the uh, polished on the side there, there, and one on the back there as well. So you should have this like cross shape. Um, get the polished on the side stairs. Do one facing inwards there, one on top of the stairs, one there as well, and one there. Do a stone in the middle, and then one iron trap door on top. Get the stone slabs, one on the front, one on the front there. And then the polished black stone slabs, one on the back, one on the back there. That's kind of the top window things on the TIE Fighter. Um, so that's what those are. Uh, coming over to the tread side now, get the um, polished andesite stairs, and we're going to do an upside down one, and two and three like that. One, two, and three. Polished on the left of it, um, we need the stone stairs, one and two. Two polished. A polished stair facing that way. And then a stone block. So again, two, 
two polished, two stone stairs, and then one polished full block. On the front of it, just two stone blocks there. And then the polished black stone one and two. And then the slab is going to go there and there. And on the back, just do the same because we can get rid of the polished black stone after that. Um, I think, but yeah, uh, that goes there. And that one there, fine. Okay, uh, get the stone block again one here, one there. We need the andesite. Uh, that's one, two. Three stone blocks. Two light grey concrete, one polished, one andesite wall. And then add two stone buttons there. And we'll just do the same on this side. So andesite, wall, polished andesite, light grey concrete, two stone buttons, three stone, two andesite. And then just take the iron bar, put that there. And on this one, there and on this one okay so I think uh, is that it for both treads for this one I think so um, yeah let's move on up to the final section which is gonna be the top of these treads the main body is done now so yeah let's do that right so start off at the back here and um, we can just put all this up here for now want to grab mainly the Polished um, or chiseled polished black stone. We need the stone buttons. We need the polished black stone slab and the stone stairs. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. So take the slab that goes there and on this one, there and on this one, and then just uh, chisel all the way across like that. We're going to do stone buttons on top all the way across those uh, full blocks and then just add an extra one there there as well there as well and there and if you go underneath you might have to knock a block out here but you can do one underneath that um, and then we'll do that on all four so two one here just make sure it's facing the same way as the others or it's going to be uh, annoying there we go. And then the last thing, taking the stone stairs, these go all the way across, um, just next to the full blocks. Like that. Matches what's down here, basically. And yeah, that is uh, it's going to do, I think. So let's get rid of all these materials and put the shaders on for a quick post-build showcase. And then we'll be done. Again, apologies, it's been a while again. I'm just struggling with time for recording, but um, yeah, I mean, it, it's just something I can't help, really. Um, but I'll, I will look at doing more Legend stuff um, in future, because you know, things like this are pretty cool. Um, it is kind of shadow at the minute, because there's a few builds that I haven't done the materials list for. Um, so the uh, Magna Guard Starfighter thing, the Rogue Class or whatever, the Vulture, and the Staps. Still haven't got the material lists online, but I will... Get those done as soon as possible. Um, but yeah, this has been the TIE Crawler. Thank you. Well, the Century Tank, whichever you want to call it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day, and be safe, be well. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, thank you for watching the video. On the screen right now you can see a list of the fantastic Patreon supporters who are helping to support the channel. If you want to check out the Patreon and other social medias of mine, you can find them all in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.